And so check this out. She breathed in thick smoke for more than an hour before she was rescued. Oh my gosh. This haze right here. And talk about Eerie in a podcast just But released. do you see how, I'm surprised that they showed a little bit of that clip of her popping out of the bag, but do you see how he doesn't say anything about it? Why? Today, Hayes reveals who she'd like to play her in a biopic about her life. Miley Cyrus or Kristen Bell? I've already thought about it. The two of them share. And he goes straight to that, to talking about these two. Are these people psychopaths? Are they completely cold? Are they zombies? Are they dead? Are they robots? Are you kidding me? I'm just saying. It's not like I'm a fan of Anne Ash. I'm not saying I wasn't. I enjoyed some of the movies she was in. I mean, I don't know her personally. I wish everybody well, even the people that I don't like. But this is just, to me, horrendous. Now, here I'm going to screen share me searching for anything I can find. This is a one web browser. I type in Fox 11 because I remember it was Fox 11 when I watched it live that day. And this is what comes up. Like, who's pushing this? And this is, you know, DuckDuckDo browser. I tried all different browsers with DuckDuckDo, without Brave. I use Safari. This is Chrome as we're using, but, you know, different you know, search engine. I couldn't find anything. It's, it's, to me, it's just beyond creepy. And I'm not even trying to act like it's creepy. Like, okay. Then I go to other places like BitChute and check this out. I literally typed in just her name. Here's what I get. And the thing is that I don't want to click on certain channels because I don't want you guys to think that I'm following a certain channel. I'm just believing one channel. No, I'm going down. I'm, I'm clicking on everything, you know, struggle with the paramedics. My thing is though, I was trying to find the best footage, just the most clear footage that I could get and how, the, while the guy was live, they zoomed in and, and it looks that, like, you know, it uh, does look like there's these that burn marks moving. here. You can see on she's the back totally covered. Vehicle. Oh my gosh, see? he's completely alive. He, he, he was trying to get away. He was. Do you see how he said he, he was trying to get away? I, I don't know. That was really, really strange. See? Uh -huh. That was really, really strange. And this is live. So I'm going, all right, okay. But everyone's already, of course, going, look, you know, she was alive. I mean, she could have been in shock. There's, 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 I can see there's, you know, several explanations. Here's this one. Let me see. Fire. Uh, within an hour, the, the firefighters, LA FD, had eventually pulled the car out of your home. You can see it was towed out of the home there. Uh, firefighters still looking in the car to find possible survivors. Uh, the driver was rescued, as you'll see in this next little clip we're going to transition to real quick. They, uh, they were taken to the hospital, as you can see there, uh, in a hurry to get out of that car that crashed into that home. Uh, they were worried about the structural damage of that home as it was built in the 1950s. And you can see the house give way a little bit there. Um, in the house, so they were concerned about that and also concerned about the person, the driver, who was identified as Anne Heche. You probably know the name from TV and movies, uh, from Six Days, Seven Nights, Donnie Brasco, Wag the Dog, Volcano, a bunch of movies. And there is a dramatic moment there just before being put into the ambulance to take to the hospital that his driver was. Now, my thing is, did you look at the body was language? Identified this, Volcano, this a bunch is, of movies. Are these really and, paramedics? Are they the firefighters? There is Wait, a dramatic look, look. moment. How are you touching somebody that's supposed to be all burned like that? There just before Can you imagine being how much it hurts? Movies, and I just feel like uh, from six I don't days, feel any compassion nights, from Donnie these people. Brosco, I don't feel like they're the like rescuers. Volcano, and, and don't movies. get me wrong. Maybe they're in shock. But see, I just don't believe anybody, what anybody tells me. I have to ask myself, you know, and like my feelings, you know. And... There is a dramatic moment there just before being put into And the why is that guy, he's got his hands behind his back, and they're kind of, they're way too chill for somebody who's dying, burning. The and she doesn't to look take black. to the hospital that his driver was like burn, burn. Okay. identified as Anne Heche. Immediately she's intubated, and immediately, three days later, we're going to give her organs up? Does anybody know, was there a card, does she have a card, or did their family decide for her? I mean, all these questions come to my mind, and then she's gone, and they cremate her right away? An investigation closed in a week. Boom, just like that. See, we slowed it down a little bit for you as uh, firefighters were trying to help this woman. Uh so the autopsy, the latest autopsy said that she was not inebriated, not drunk, but with some levels of cocaine in her. She could have had it from last night if she went out or whatever. But did you guys also see that she was at a hair salon right before this? And the guy says she was fine, not slurring, nothing. And she bought a wig. 
But then I see other videos and other pictures of people circling, you know, that she had a, a bottle of vodka in her car. I mean, with Photoshop, with the technology that we have today, we can do anything and make anything look believable. She was still a working, healthy person and functioning and having kids and a family. And she just, and here's the kicker. Here's the other thing that my friend was like, oh, I didn't know that. Did you guys know that she was about to launch a, I don't know if it's a movie or documentary, don't quote me to be exact, but um, about sex trafficking. <laughs>